All right, next that step, one of the last steps, we're actually gonna use uh, a ghrelin earth and we're just gonna put a few patches over the whole thing. This is one of those times where it's uh, not a bad idea to be a little sparing. Uh, I tend to go through and put a few on and then come back to the tile a little while later and look at it. It's very easy to overdo this and just get too much on here. So um, just pick semi-random spots. I'm using just a little rubber, uh, I think it's a sculpting tool actually, but uh, just applying it and I'm applying it very, very thick because I want some nice big cracks. But um, the tool, nothing special. Just got a flat piece with a little point on it. And we're just gonna go through, like I said, some spots on the floor uh, and some up on the walls as well to um, kind of just show some extra corrosion, rot, disgustingness happening. Um, and this is, this is kind of a, to personal taste. There's no right or wrong amount, but like I said, it's really easy to kind of overdo it and have um, more than you want kind of overpower the whole effect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this two by four and stick it underneath here, which should allow you to see uh, the walls a little bit more. I'm just gonna take some of this stuff, like I said, and we're just gonna smear some up on the walls in patches as well. Kind of stuff growing or um, forming over the course of years as it rots or maybe minutes if Nurgle is, uh, is uh, playing around quite a bit. Um, I'm just going to, you won't be able to see it on camera, but again, I'm just putting some more up on the wall over here. And then um, once you're satisfied with the amount on there, again, like I said, it's, it's kind of a personal preference. Um, then just let it sit. It actually doesn't take a really long time for this to finish up. Um, it dries and cracks pretty quickly, uh, but I uh, will see if I can snag another tile that's already been finished. So um, what we're looking at here, if I can frame this well, is we have a nice spot right here that's all cracked up. I'm not sure if you, how well you can see that. Uh, some other spots up top here. And then also, let's see, what did I put? No, I put some on the walls, there we go. So there's another spot right there. Um, so again, I just kind of sparingly put it throughout the tile and uh, go ahead and do that. Like I said, come back a little bit later if you don't think there's quite enough on there, go ahead and put some more on. Okay, last step, we're just gonna put uh, some accent in there with an um, Nilek Oxide, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't know, but uh, it's GW Technical Paint. Um, more so than the agrellin earth that we did in the last stage, you want to be um, very conservative with this. It's uh, quite easy to overdo the amount of this on there and it can overpower the tile um, just because it's such a bright uh, color. So um, kind of contrasting to whatever all the other stuff we're doing. So I'm just going to get some on a brush, a small uh, detail type brush here, and I'm going to find some spots to kind of paint it in. Um, uh, I like to do it around drains and such. Uh, I think that helps a little bit, kind of like uh, some kind of ooze, icky green oozing liquid. Uh, you certainly don't have to though. It works in many different places. And I just kind of um, spread it around just a couple spots here and there. I don't want to overdo it again, like I said, because it's, it's very easy to do. This would definitely be another time where um, painting some on and then uh, coming back later and seeing how uh, it looks would be a good idea. Um, and I do want to get some, so I'm going to go ahead and try and put, brace this up again so you can see. I want to get some in um, on, the, on the, the, the tiles here too. So I'm just going to kind of paint it in in some spots. And uh, that's how we do this one put it in three, four, maybe five spots on each tile and then come back later and, and see how that um, looks. Talk to you in a bit.